Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to build a website using Webflow. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, first we can get started with creating an account. It's free to try the platform. So we can click get started and then we'll just sign in with one of our accounts. So we'll just sign in with Google. Okay, great. So we just need to create a basic account. So just add your personal details. Okay, so let's build a company website, small business, one to five. Let's just say a basic business website. Click continue, uh, click no, and click finish. Okay, great. So you can follow their little basic walkthrough here. So let's see what they have to say. So click get started. Okay, so everything is held within a container. So this is fairly standard in website builders. Okay, and it's just a drag and drop builder. So we can just drag it in to the body area as we already have the header and footer set up, it seems. And then next it's telling us to give the container a height. Okay, so let's just follow their instructions. 100 and then open and drag a little heading okay and then add a button okay and then now we'll fix how the elements within the container are laid out so it says select the container okay and then we're going to select flexbox okay great so now it's set to flexbox and then we can play with the Flexbox CSS. Okay, so it's saying all the elements are aligned horizontally. Now we can try it vertically. Okay, and then center align. And then make the spacing center justified. Okay, and then now it's going to teach us how to add some styles. So click continue. And select the header. Okay, so it's fairly standard. Changing the size here. Let's see what they have. So it's just font, the weight, the color, alignment, and text styling. Okay, and they also provide classes which allow you to style multiple elements. Okay, click continue. So it's saying select this button. Okay, so right now we're just editing the primary button, but I think they're going to make us the classes to all three buttons. So any changes applied to one will be applied to all the buttons. Click next. Okay. And then change the left padding to 36. Okay. And then change the right padding as well to 36. And as we see here, all of the buttons have been styled, even though we only have the one in the center selected. Let's say again here, so any edits you make to an element with the same class, those changes will be applied to all elements that share that class. Okay, so click next and then scroll up. Okay, so I think they're going to make us apply the same class to this button. Okay, and then click the primary button and then over here in style selectors. Okay, and then primary button. So it's already an existing class and we're going to select that. As we can see, it looks like the other buttons now. So this is just basic CSS with IDs and classes. So IDs are for individual elements, where classes are for styling multiple elements that share the same style. Okay, so I think we have a clear understanding of classes. Let's click next. Okay, great. So now they're going to talk to us about responsive design. So just following the breakpoints over here. So it's saying to change the color. So now we're going to see how it looks like on a tablet device. Okay, so it's more compressed compared to a desktop. And it's a vertical, uh, the tablet is set to the vertical ori orientation. So any style applied to a lower breakpoint will be applied automatically to the other lower ones. So any changes here will be applied to the mobile landscape view and the vertical view but it won't affect the higher, the larger screen, such as desktop 
and the same applies if you change something on mobile it won't affect the tablet and desktop view okay so let's see that in action so let's change the size of the heading to 55 pixels as on tablet there's less real estate than desktop so it makes sense that you would want to have it have the text a bit smaller in order to show all the elements in a desirable position so click shrink and then let's see how it also affects it on the mobile view so if you click mobile so we see here on mobile it's also still set to 55 okay and then i think we're gonna have to make it smaller again okay and then it's going to show us on desktop it's still set to 80. so it doesn't affect the larger resolutions okay so i think that makes sense so we click next and then great so now i think this is the end of their tutorial so we can click preview the site and then this is how it would look like on a mobile device so it's a bit long so it'll be probably be cut off like up to here say on an iphone and then you can just check that all the text is readable and it's and it's in the correct position and no text is overlapping okay great so now their tutorial is done we can create our own projects so create so create new project okay so we can just pick one of their uh starter sites so since we already kind of did a basic run through through their tutorial we can just use one of their pre-made templates in order to just go into more detail on what else webflow has to offer so here are the free ones it seems like and then down here are the paid templates okay so here's some more free templates but we're just going to use their default one over here so i like this one business starter so click select okay and then just my business website okay great so this is their full builder over here as during the tutorial it was a more cutback version in order to help you understand their platform in bite-sized pieces so as we can see here we have all the sections which we can select and then on the right side we have all the settings and stylings of each element okay so let's see what we can do first so usually we'll start with the navigation break it down and then here's the logo we can add in a logo okay so let's add in our image so choose image i just choose an image of my business logo so we can just drag and drop the images okay so just add it to the asset manager okay so just replace the image to the logo image our logo is showing over here and then just make sure over here in brand settings that it's connecting to the correct link okay and keeping it in the same tab and then over here we have our navigation items so this one will lead to the about page the work page team page blog page and the contact page okay and then they have this call to action over here but this one is a bit different as it automatic it's a link to your email so it's a mail to link instead of a link to the contact page so this is a quick call to action you can add so usually what i'd recommend is using a phone number instead so let's say one two three four five six and then we can edit the text let's see call us for a quote okay so i think it's a little bit big now as it's uh more text so we can lower the sizing here so the text and then also with the button as well it's a bit big so we can lower the sizing of the text and the height okay so now we have the navigation completed we can come come out of this element over here and then go into the first section so this is just the first section so we can add in again a background image over here so let's just choose an image okay so I'll upload an image of Toronto okay so it seems like the max image size is four megabytes so let me just compress the image okay and then we have our background here so let's just add in some content Toronto web design okay and then let's just change the color of this text over here so again you would have to select the text you can either select it directly on the builder or through their navigator over here 
And then again, let's just change the text color to a white. So it's just due to the opacity. So let's just um, make it back to 100. Okay, so that looks good. And then the learn more button could just be uh, contact us. And then let's just change the background. Okay, so right now it's white. Let's change it to the blue, like this one. Okay, maybe a bit darker. Yeah, so that looks good. And then the internal text, we can change that as well to a white color. Okay, wait, so that was just the border. So let's put that back. And then just the text block. Where is the text color? Here in, under typography. So we'll just change that to white. Yeah, so this looks like a nice header, which is the first thing that the user will see once they reach the website. Okay, so let's we just reduce the font size just so it fits on one line over here. Okay, so this top section looks good. So next, let's go over here into the bottom. Yeah, so this looks fine. And then over here, again, you can just fill out this content and add more sections. Okay, and then just for this section over here, we can expand further. Let's try to delete something. So over here in home container div, we can just delete. Okay, and that will remove that element as well as over here. So this section over here, the company new section, we don't need that, so we can delete that. Okay, and then here's a call to action. So it's just a call to action where you can link to contact form or for them to access your number directly. Okay, so let's try applying classes to this button. Okay, over here, so we have, just so that'll look like this button over here. So we can go over here and we can copy this class. So CC duplicate, so CC jumble white, and let's see how that looks over here. So just the button we need to select, and then let's do the CC jumble white. Great, so now we see it looks exactly like our button over here. Okay, so we can come out of this section. Okay, great, so this looks good. So let's just preview the site. So go to start, we go over here. This is the about page work page so again it's to edit these pages is the same process as what we did to edit the home page okay and then we can again view the website on tablet mobile and desktop so again you see over here with the logo it's too big on smaller devices so we can work on editing this so let's see what happened here okay so on tablet let's shrink if needed so now it just shows the logo and then again also on mobile yeah so this the logo is fixed here so again before you launch your site just double check how all the elements look like on mobile and tablet as the website will look different on every device okay and then we hit preview okay great so this is our our basic website that we created using Webflow. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to create a basic website using Webflow. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.